Ho, ho, ho. Happy holidays. Welcome, Star Wars and Unboxing Pans, to another episode of Darth Tuba's Star Wars Unboxing Show. Uh, this is the holiday edition. And uh, if you've been watching my videos recently, you'll know that um, I just recently went on a holiday toy hunt and found a couple of or ornaments that I wanted to get up on our Star Wars tree here. I also uh, decided that why not make use this episode to be the massive unboxing of all of the Hallmark ornaments that have come out this year, or at least a very good portion of them, uh, Star Wars related Hallmark ornaments. And so, we're, so that's basically what this is all about. This is all the Hallmark um, ornaments. Now you see prior to the start of this episode, we did do a little bit of uh, tree trimming here at, at high speed. We've had our tree trimming parties in the past. You can look back on uh, previous episodes uh, to see them. And, uh, you know, I'm just excited to uh, add a few more to the list here, to the uh, grouping of them. Um, two of them that I'm going to just talk about right now are not even ornaments. I am so excited. They're, um, and I mentioned this on my previous uh, Toy Hunt episode, but these, these two from Lego. First of all, there are probably the only two items in the entire Lego store in my local mall that were under five dollars <laughs> so uh that was a that was a plus but in addition to that these are believe it or not no they're not they're not uh ornaments they are luggage tags that's correct luggage tags as in you put them on your luggage but i thought well you know that might, that's nice that you put them on your luggage but with a little bit of poking and prodding you can very easily make them ornaments there we go so they work as ornaments so, uh, you, you know, if, you, if you're looking for stuff like this, they, I only picked up the R2 with his fancy Dickens hat and the Stormtrooper with his fancy uh, elf hat. But there was a Vader Santa hat. There was a Bo Boba Fett one. There's a few of them there. So, by all means, you know, if you uh, grab them and you put them on your tree, I won't judge. Neither will anybody else. So, that's one area that's a little, that's non hallmarky. But, uh, as you can see, we have a ton of ornaments here and it's kind of crazy that they come up with so many um i and just let you know most of these are not going to end up on this tree they're going to end up on the uh, massive star wars tree that i have upstairs uh you can go back on previous videos just look in previous decembers and you can see that tree and how it looks it is i would say 90 percent star wars ornaments um a little bit of star trek and the occasional Battlestar Galactica or Indiana Jones thrown in for good measure, but it's massively Star Wars ornaments. I just can't believe that um, they've produced so many amazing ornaments. So, and and I will say that um, I you know the the Hallmark brand is very much in our family. Um, I have a family member that owns and runs a Hallmark store locally. So um, you know with that we are always made aware of the uh, upcoming releases and that kind of thing so thank you to my uh, my my dear dear cousin diane for all of your assistance with uh finding items and stuff like that so why don't we get right into it since we have so many things to unbox the first thing i'm going to do is actually a an exclusive this is the pop minded exclusive um hallmark keepsake ornament from uh Star Wars Celebration 2019 and this is the uh, basically the Ralph McQuarrie R2 and 3PO um, concept idea so these I'll take out and I'll put them over here but there are, these are going to actually end up upstairs um, now the funny thing about pop minded that's another part of the Disney uh, or sorry, Disney, the Hallmark brand and they kind of release them throughout the year now this of course was an exclusive but you can find other pop minded items that are released throughout the year so I, I don't know if that means that they're not meant to be holiday themed i'm not quite sure so but the cool thing about these is that they are a very kind of metallic very heavy metal i can't even like stand these up i will get some close-up shots of these so you can see them i'll put them you know impose them over the tree but it, you know this is uh the original 3po look that was based off of the character from metropolis the old uh, German silent film, sci-fi film. And R2, R2 is just looking amazing. Um, he's a little bit more closer to what you see with the regular R2. He's a little more, a little more stout, a little shorter, and his, uh, they included his attachments. In fact, um, this is something that definitely has a lot of now similar beats to um, Chopper from Star Wars Rebels. 
So you can definitely see that you know that they were getting inspired by the original concept for R2. So that is quite awesome. All right. So next up, we're going to talk about the um, there's two types of hallmark ornaments that come out. There are the um, the hallmark. I guess you could say. I think that there's a specific name for them, but these are the hallmark brand ornaments that you would you could find in places like Walmart and Target and Kohl's and lots of shopping centers. They're kind of a more mass appeal, less expensive ornament that you can find. And um, they come up with some every year, um, not only in Star Wars, but with Disney and Marvel and a lot of the other properties. So they uh, came up with a few this year. Actually, this Porg one is not uh, not new. I mean, it's, it's in a box for this year, but it's actually been released last year. In fact, I think it might have been released two years ago. I already have one of these, but you know what? You can always have more than one pork. So we also had um, the uh, Walmart exclusive, which was a Darth Vader. They made a very similar one, but this one has a Santa hat. The Ray figure from the, um, the Rise of Skywalker. And the um, Jet Trooper, the one that flies. Yes, they fly now. So why don't we start with all of those, okay? Because I have Jet Trooper in my hand. We will begin with Jet Trooper. Um, I also picked up a second one of these because I have another tree. And where I teach, I have a, a tree in my office, in my school. And uh, I wanted to have a, a Jet Trooper ornament. One of the things I like about these ornaments is that, as I said, they are a little less expensive, okay? They usually come come with their own little hang, you know, hanging section here. So that's really cool. All right, before I get them on the tree, I am gonna leave them here so I remind myself to take photos and I'll put them out there. So this box will not be kept. So we'll put that one away. All right, let's get our Porg up here to join uh, join forces. Of course, now everyone's having an argument. What's cuter, Porgs or the baby Yoda character? And before anybody gets on my case, all right, if you haven't seen The Mandalorian, what are you waiting for? Go see The Mandalorian. Yes, I realize you have to get into, you have to do Disney Plus streaming, and if you're not willing to do that, okay, well then, sorry, I'm talking about The Mandalorian. So there is a character in there called the the uh, the Asset, and we've talked about it in previous episodes, and it's a baby Yoda species. Um, many are arguing it's not Yoda, and I said, well, we don't have a name for it. Um, what do you want us to do? You know, call it Kevin, <laughs> call it Fred. No, it's um, a baby species of the same as Yoda. It's a little lot, a little bit uh, long-winded. So let's just call it Baby Yoda until they clarify more in the show um, what this creature is. Is it Yoda? I don't think so. I just think it has to happens to be something that looks like Yoda might have looked as a baby. So moving on to Ray, the Ray figure. I'm loving the way um, this this. Uh, outfit is definitely uh, kind of a a more geared towards a more white look for Rey as opposed to the gray from Last Jedi and the beige from the uh, Force Awakens. So the Rise of Skywalker, we got the Rey. Now I will say this for the ornaments. I do not store my ornaments. A little, 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 tid, little piece of advice here. I might recommend, I'm starting to look into, th consider... Um, some more um, creative ways to store ornaments because the ornaments that I store now I have like a, a, a container that has like dividers like cardboard dividers in so I can put them one two three four five six but in order for me to have an, an, a dedicated space for each ornament I would literally have to have you know a hundred of these containers and that's a little too much so I do pack some two or three together but I don't have like a lot of um you know, packing peanuts and things of that nature. So it's not usually a problem for the ornaments. They generally, as long as I'm very careful bringing the, the containers up into our attic space and bringing them back down, they generally survive all right. However, lightsabers are a little bit of a challenge. So you got to be careful with that. All right. And then lastly, in these uh, more uh, dedicated uh, retail establishments, ornaments by Hallmark, we have Darth Vader, Santa Vader, Santa also, Santa Vader also knows if you've been sleeping and knows when you're awake, but for different reasons and for different motives. It's kind of creepy and scary. So 
<laughs> it, is, it is a little silly because they basically just took a Santa hat and popped it on him. So it looks a little like it's a little high up there, but that's okay. So Santa Vader, you better be good this year, kids, because Santa Vader's coming to town. And if Santa Vader comes to town, we have a problem. All right. So another one that we've seen, and I believe this was in Target, was these kind of, I kind of love these. These are, um, I believe, unbreakable. Now I say unbreakable, and I'm sure if I tried hard enough, I could break these. Um, unbreakable Christmas ornaments. And, and they're, I think their idea, there's a bunch of these on the tree here. Um, I think the idea behind these are essentially to allow, you know, children to, you know, be able to decorate their own tree, maybe a tree for their room. But you know, parents don't want to give them really expensive ornaments or really uh, or ornaments that are um, extremely uh, fragile or sharp or anything of that nature. So um, they came up with these kind of looking glass looking, but I think they're really yeah, they're like a plastic. So um, I like this one because it is Poe's X-wing from the Rise of Skywalker. So that's really cool. So we will uh, get a close up of that. All right, so that leaves us with essentially the Star Wars ornaments. Now, the Hallmark likes to play around with fans <laughs> and have ornaments come out in three different areas, okay? There's usually an ornament premiere in July, and then they have more ornaments come out in October, and then more in, say, November, sometimes December. So these are all kind of out of, out of, out of whack here. So I'm going to just... Uh, Start with one at a time and get them up here, okay? So what I'm going to do, okay, is I'm going to un unbox them all, okay? And then the ones that are um, electronic, that have batteries, I'm going to um, pause for a minute, go into high speed to load all the batteries up, and then I'll kind of display and show you what they are, okay, before we uh, wrap things up. So this is another uh, holiday-themed R2 and 3 3PO uh, Peak Busters. This is a fun, uh, you know, a fun thing that they've had. They've had a, they've had a stormtrooper. They've had Vader. I think they've had Yoda. The only problem I have with these is that they can get quite annoying if they go off on their own. So I don't know if, and maybe leave a comment if you're like this. But um, this is really cute, though. It's got R two and three PO. Three PO's got a little Santa hat. R two's got all the lights on. So it's a really cool looking ornament. But tell me if this is, I don't know, to me, this always seemed a little weird. Um, how many of you, like, turn on the ornament when you first take it out, right? You put it on the tree and you press the ornament and the ornaments make noise and that kind of thing. But then after that, <clears throat> you don't do it again. And after that, you, you go the whole season and, and maybe you have visitors that come over and press it. But generally speaking, nobody does. So I... I, I believe a comment if you're like that. I don't mean it's not that I don't like it. It's it's, it's fine. I like it fine, but it's just I find it like sometimes I just want. To, most of the time, I just like the tree to be a visible thing. I like to look at the tree. I like the look of the tree. Another uh, a downside. Right now we have the biker scout, a wild ride on Endor, and I do believe that there are there have been some um, exclusives for like Comic Con and things that I am going to try to track down. One of them is the spider uh, um, the speeder bike with. The Ewok on it, which I definitely want to find. Um, this also has some electronics in it, so I will definitely put them in there. This is the Biker Scout. Uh, yeah, but I mean, the electronics are great and 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 they're fun and they they're in cute novelty. But I I do sometimes wonder if the um, the effect can sometimes wear off and be less interesting. And the other thing that's interesting, the other part of it that's kind of funny is that, you know, now they're doing everything with batteries, you know, and when they first came out, anybody know the first, I can't, I, I feel terrible, I am so excited, leave a comment if you can tell me what the first Hallmark Star Wars ornament was, I think I know, but I want to hear your comments. The first Star Trek ornament was the USS Enterprise, came out in 1991, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, Oh, this is cute. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, now, oh, this is all right. So we'll we'll talk about that in a minute. So yeah, the um, the you know it it was a it was the Star Trek one, and they used to the first kind of generation technology of the ornaments was to essentially 
plug them into the light sockets, which people would do. They just pull the light bulb out and plug the ornament in, and then it would light like just part of the part of the thing. And then the second year, they came out with the shuttlecraft Galileo, which is from Star Trek, the little rectangular shuttlecraft. This one lit up, but it also did something else when you plugged it into a light socket. It actually had Leonard Nimoy's voice. It said, shuttlecraft to Enterprise, shuttlecraft to Enterprise, Spock here, happy holidays, live long and prosper. It was so cute. And we used to love it. It was such a cute um, ornament. Well, thing is that the more you put these things into the light sockets, the less lights glowed. They, they would start to dim. Some of the cheaper lights would just shut off altogether. So it became kind of an issue. So then Hallmark started coming up with other ways. Like they came up with special light boards that you could plug into. And then that they had to buy a special cord for it. And then they came up with using batteries. And now they're coming back to special cords like this one. This is part of the seven. Um, this is the Star, you, the Star Destroyer. Um, Imperial Star Destroyer doesn't have it. I don't know if it's the Executor or something like that. Or Executor, excuse me. And this has got a little outlet that you can plug in. No batteries. You plug it in with this other set of outlets and it actually, you know, interacts with all these other ornaments. So it's pretty cool. Um, they, they came up with seven. And I think they came up with five up until this year. And then they have the last two. And the Star Destroyer is one of them. So um, I, uh, they also included a wreath, which I will show you at the end of this video so you can see what that looks like. Okay, what else we got? Oh, we have lightsaber set. <laughs> okay, I think of this one I'm gonna leave down here in, on, on these trees just because it looks like they have um, some holders. <laughs> I don't think they light up. Three Christmas tree ornaments, here we go. We have uh, Luke, is it Luke's? Now here's the thing, I don't think these are actually correct in terms of which ornament, which lightsabers they are. I don't think they're correct, but I could be wrong. We have a green one. We have the red one. I'm probably not gonna do a close up of these. It's just a lightsaber. It looks like an icicle, except it's a lightsaber. So um, cute, a cute idea. Um, I don't know if I would, remember I, I do get a discount. Thank you to my cousin, I do get a discount. So I don't know if I would spend full price on these because they're just they're just like icicles. <laughs> That's what they are. All right. I like the I almost like the box better on this. The box is like kind of fancy, you know. So oh, there we go. But um, you know, I give I give Hallmark and their art the Hallmark artisans a lot of credit. They put a lot of time and energy into all of these so okay moving right along we got the boba fett mask we've had a few masks here this will probably stay down here as well we've got um oh, this one oh. oh there's our batteries all right so that one can get battery to left a little bit later i'm not sure if it talks or if it plays music probably talks the question is is it talking the original boba fett voice or does it talk in the new edited recently Tamara Morrison? I'm guessing it's Tamara Morrison, which I like that change. It makes sense. He's gonna say, if he's gonna be a clone, he's gonna sound like that. It makes sense. Moving on, we have Luke Skywalker. And I do believe that this is just a standard keepsake ornament without any special doohickeys or bells or whistles. But you know, a nice, uh, a nice sculpt. They're getting better with the sculpts, you know, and again, I'll get some. I'll get close-ups of all of these for you. It's funny, like I don't put them back in these boxes, but I do save these boxes, um, and I have tons of them up there. It's crazy. All right, we've got the. This is the, oh, by the way, the the Star Destroyer and the the seven set of ornaments that I was mentioning. They're called the Storytellers. The Storyteller ornament. And this one is the last of the of the seven that I've opened up, and that is the Y-Wing Fighter. And again, I will put this up, plug it in, and hang it up, and you'll get you'll give you a, a sh uh, kind of a show with them. And this year, because they finally completed all seven of the ornaments, they have effectively set up a wreath, which is a um, a black wreath. It looks like it's more akin for to Halloween than Christmas. 
but they have a black wreath so all the ornaments on there so I've actually permanently attached them you know like used like 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 a wire instead of uh, hangers so that they can just stay on then I'm just gonna put a bag over it and store it over the when it's not the holidays so but the nice but the sculpting on all of these is just so nice I can't even tell you fantastic all right oh I'm gonna save that one last let's do the Sith Trooper again this is another one that's not a magic or anything no sounds no bells no whistles just a really good sculpt of a really good concept I cannot believe we are less than three weeks less than three weeks people and they are loading up a lot of content on uh, on like commercials and stuff whoa whoa careful there Ooh, it's got some weight to it all right Sith Trooper it, I love it almost looks like the uh, death troopers from Rogue One I um, it almost has that height I don't know if this guy will stand will he stand on his own Ooh, look at that he does stand but I'm gonna have to move him because this box I'm gonna keep him down just because I don't want him to fall over I mean the Hallmark ornaments are fantastic folks I cannot say enough about them I do say that they are, there's only one flaw with them and that is that you know there's only so many branches on a tree I mean I I currently have I am not kidding and I am I wouldn't be what you would call and I mean I love Christmas but I wouldn't be someone who is a you know I don't celebrate it all year it's not that kind of thing but all told I have a tree in the living room a tree in the uh, in the music room that's the Star Wars tree this is a Star Wars tree I, and I have a tree at work so that's four trees four filled with ornaments and to the point where almost all of them you can't hang anything else so you know it's okay that's why when when sometimes when 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 hallmark, if hallmark makes a decision to pull back a little bit on the creation of star wars ornaments i might not be that upset because i love them and i do plan on collecting them and i do i fortunately can 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 not you know i can afford it because there i do get a little bit of a discount but still and no before anybody asks i cannot get it for anybody else i can only do it for me so there's ray again this is uh the um, Rise of Skywalker Ray and Kylo Ren. Really cool. Oh, but, oh, but no more, more, no more lightsabers. Ah. The hardest thing too about lightsabers is if they break. See, most things if they break, it's not that big of a deal. You can fix them. But when when they break, ugh, it becomes when lightsabers break, it's almost impossible to fix. So that that's always a challenge. But you know, we do our best. All right. So, what I want to do now is just very slowly, or I shouldn't say slowly, I'm going to put the, I'm going to put the, the movie, or the movie, the video into some high speed, just for a few minutes, it'll only take a few moments for you, just so I can get these things unscrewed, because I've, as we've talked about in previous episodes, you now have to unscrew each ornament, you have to add the tiny little batteries, and you have to screw them back. So, we'll be back. Enjoy the high speed change here. Okay, so, as I said, we have three ornaments that had battery packs. The Boba Fett, the uh, Biker Scout, and R2 and 3PO uh, Peekaboo ones. I forget that's what they're, they're peekers or whatever. They, you know, they're supposed to like, essentially, well, I'll get to each one of them. Um, in terms of battery uh, putting in, uh, Boba Fett was the hardest because it, it was very deep inside um, the, the thing. So if you have a set of tweezers or something that you can do this with, it's probably going to work better for you. Um, this the biker scout had very tiny batteries, but I don't know, it was just easier to put in for whatever reason. And R2 and 3PO were by far the easiest. So let's start with Boba Fett. This is part of the helmet series, okay? So let's see what we got. I'll put this close to my mic. He's no good to me, dead. Tamara Morrison, okay. What if he doesn't survive? 
He's worth a lot to me. Put Captain Solo in the cargo hold. As you wish. He's no good to me dead. What if he doesn't survive? He's worth a lot to me. So every line that basically Bar Boba Fett said, the Empire Strikes Back. There you go. All right. So we have a nice little helmet there for that. Awesome. All right. Biker Scout. Here we go. So they basically just just lifted the audio right from Return of the Jedi, from the Go for Help Go to an edited down version of all the sounds, including ah, going right into a tree. So yay. Nothing says peace on earth and Merry Christmas like the death of a biker scout. But that's okay. And last but not least, we have... Goodness gracious, Arthur, what are you doing? You cannot invite someone to... Take a peek at these gifts. That directly violates our mission. <coughs> you thought I was powered down? Uh, I'll power you down, you naughty mischief provoker. So what happens if I keep talking? Are you going to... Oh. What? Talking. Are you... Your sensors detect a peeker? Oh, my. <coughs> I suggest you recalibrate and check your data again. I have a good feeling about this one. Huh, just as I suspected. So sorry. R2 has been known to make mistakes from time to time. Before it goes on again. All right. Um, so these are, this is a, as I said, there's been a series of these. There's a Darth Vader one. There's a Yoda. There's a Stormtrooper, I believe. And they're essentially designed, and, and instead of it being where you press a button and it activates it, it's something that has a sensor, and you turn it on, and if you walk into the room and it's on, it will, you know, make mention of it. Um, I'm really glad it has an off switch because uh, I have a cat. And the cat goes in and out of the room very often, so this thing would be on even if it was the middle of the night. I'd be hearing 3PO talking about people taking a peek at their presence. That's the idea. It's like people want to peek at the gifts, so these are like sentry guards to make sure you don't do it. It is very cute and very clever. Um, it's just that the sound part of it is, um, can, as I said, it can get a little bit much. So um, I oftentimes don't even activate the sound. And I will be honest, the batteries don't last more than a few years, maybe two or three years at most, and then you have to replace them. I generally just take the batteries out and I don't worry about replacing them. Um, if you do want to replace them, uh, Hallmark does have a battery replacement kit you can buy in Hallmark stores. You can also, just, I mean, I do it basically with a, with a small screwdriver. Um, and you can actually go on Amazon and order the types of batteries like in, in mass quantity. So you can buy like a, a, a set of 20. Uh, unfortunately, I will tell you that, that not every ornament has the exact same size battery. It's another little flaw. If they had the same battery and then Hallmark could sell like a 20 pack for whatever they want and you know people would really want to have them like that. Personally I'm more a fan of these ornaments that plug into an outlet because number one they don't waste batteries and number two um, they are all, you know when if you plug in like like me I plug my anything with electronics I plug into a uh, timer so it'll go on at night and it'll go off after a few hours so these will not be activated or be wasting any energy when they're just plugged in and then the power goes off so that's my take on it so there are our ornaments for 2019 from Hallmark and I have to say I'm excited I'm really thrilled to um, you know just get 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 into the holiday season it's a little weird this year because we are uh, a little bit short and I know that I had some holiday themed stuff with my if you look back I did a gingerbread sand crawler not realizing that the sand crawler was going to be in uh, Mandalorian I might add I said that before but I'm saying it again just total coincidence and uh, I have uh, enjoyed I, I very much enjoyed prepping for the holidays I did prep a little early this year because um, I knew that things were going to get a little hectic in the next couple of weeks so that's why I did that and now I'm kind of enjoying the holidays but it is weird that it's already we're we're three weeks actually we're less we're two weeks we're from the time of this video two weeks until Rise of Skywalker three weeks till Christmas so it's just 
nuts. So it's just crazy how fast it goes. So that'll do it for this week's episode of Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing Show. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and above all, spread the word about the channel. Let people know about this channel. Share the link to the channel. Share the link to the video. Please send that word out because with this whole Copa Law thing, I'm just running everything down as suitable for kids. So, because it is, I mean, I mean I don't, I, I'm not lying, it is very suitable for children. But um, because of the way their rules are right now, they're not going to have um, a lot of ways for it to get passed around and there's not going to be a, um, you know, any chance of it getting, you know, it's not going to be easy to find. So make sure you spread the word. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Until next time, may the force be with you. Ah.